Now to a look inside the Playboy Mansion from a woman who lived there for years. Holly Madison was known as Hugh Hefner's number one girlfriend, but in a new book she calls her time in the mansion a nightmare. Hefner is defending himself, saying she's rewriting history. ABC's Nick Watt has that story. The Playboy Mansion. If you watch the TV shows, it's all about A-list parties, beautiful women, an earthly paradise with the Hef at the helm. We see him as this old sexy crocodile. Yeah. But this longtime girlfriend says he was a control freak, that life in the mansion drove her to contemplate suicide. I really got in way too deep and really lost myself for a number of years. I definitely feel like I escaped from something. She says there were rules. Girlfriends had to be home by nine. Hef would refer to himself in the third person as daddy. He'd play the girls off against each other, no outside jobs allowed, and the girlfriends wore matching flannel pink pajamas for sex sessions. Holly was on Girls Next Door with two other Hef girlfriends. Were all three of you sleeping with him? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't really like to out the other girls or anything, but I, I mean, he definitely didn't have any girlfriends he wasn't sleeping with. Holly moved in as a wide-eyed, penniless student hungry for fame. She says Hef offered her quaaludes the first night they slept together. You mentioned, and this is a direct quote from your book, repugnant bedtime routine. Yes. <laughs> I was just never into other girls in the bedroom. You know, it was his thing, it was never mine. Holly compares Hef to an ancient ruler with a harem, but in 21st century Los Angeles. Holly says now that she's made a name outside the mansion, a Vegas show, a turn on Dancing with the Stars, that now it's time to tell her version, unfiltered. There's everything you wanted to know in my book and a little bit more that you didn't even want to know. <laughs> We asked the half about Holly's book and he told us, I've had more than my fair share of romantic relationships with wonderful women. Many moved on to live happy, healthy and productive lives and I'm pleased to say remain dear friends today. Sadly, there are a few who have chosen to rewrite history in an attempt to stay in the spotlight. Couldn't you just leave? I could have, but I was scared to leave. You would have married him? Yeah, I didn't feel like anybody else would want me after having been there. But they did. Three years ago, she met Pasquale, and now they have a little girl, Rainbow. For Good Morning America, Nick Watt, ABC News, Las Vegas. I like I said, Las Vegas. Las Vegas. How he said that. Thank you, Nick. <laughs>